All right, welcome back. We are in Photoshop CS4 or lower because we are doing simulated process separations with quickseps. And to output the film, we need dots. So we need screens to make the dots. And Photoshop 5 and above was nice enough to remove that option so you would have to buy extra software in order to do this. So I would suggest if you don't have Photoshop CS4, go on Kick-Ass Torrents and download it. Yeah, that's right. Pirate it up. I'm not paying for this garbage. All right. So for simulated process, works good with uh, nice bright images, some with nice colors, bright colors. Uh, I like to do both. I try in simulated separation and index separation and see which one looks the best. One could work better for the other and vice versa. So let's get started. Open and the image we're working with today are some tasty blueberries. So make sure we're going to have your quick steps loaded, the plugin and the color settings for quick steps. So window actions. I already have mine loaded. If you don't come up here to this flyout menu. I'll go ahead and clear those actions and we'll reload it. Load actions, find your quick steps folder and quick steps professional. If it's in text, check this button mode. It makes it easier to see, easier on the eyes. Quick steps is loaded. Now we need to load the color settings for quick steps, which is very important. Edit color settings. I already have mine loaded, but I'll reload it again. Find your Quick Steps folder. Quick Steps custom color. Default's okay. Now you can only have one window open. Make sure only one window is open. No other files are open. Nothing like this. You know, I have two files open. It's not going to work. Close them out. One file, one layer. If your layer is not visible, window layers. It should be visible though. What's not visible is my channels, which we need. So window channels. And mine are over here. They'll usually be docked in here like that. We're going to separate a lot of colors and I want to see them all. So pull it out. Layer. Needs to be named to layer zero. Very important. You have one layer. That's all you can have. And that's layer zero. And one window open. You're ready to separate. Quick steps go. Now this could take a while depending on your hardware and your computer or how well your computer is running. Today mine's not running that good. Seems a little slower than yesterday. So Quick Steps is going to dig out all these channels. We're going to have um, a lot of channels to choose from and we're going to dumb that down some. After it's all done, we're going to reduce the colors by letting it rip now. If you check these yellow boxes, it tells you what these functions do and how to do them. And usually not this slow. Is this thing done yet? Um, and you have the option to merge channels into other channels to reduce your color palette. Because in our case, we're only printing on a six color press. That's the most we can do. And uh, simulated process works very well with uh, limited color palette. Say five colors, you can get away with six colors. Usually index is a little harder to do with uh, only six colors. Usually you need about eight. And you have all kind of options you can do. If uh, you're not sure, read your quick steps manual. But anyway, once this is done, Quick Steps Go is done, we're going to come down to Let It Rip Now. And that's going to give us all the basic colors, and we can pick and choose and delete and break this puppy down into four, five, six colors, whatever it's going to be. I think I got this one down into three or four. Let's see what we can do with it, if it ever finishes. Might have to play a quick jingle. I have my guitar here in the closet with me. 
because my girlfriend's packing up and making all kind of racket out in the other rooms. So I hear her now eating potato chips, crunching away. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear that. My goodness, I'm about to throw this thing in the toilet, flush it, put it where it belongs, you gotta be kidding me, are you laughing at me, yeah. get out of here with your chips, you're ruining my tutorial, probably be another uh, 20 seconds, not even, done, stop, my goodness, all right, now we gotta go through that again. Let it rip now. See, we got all these millions of colors. We're gonna reduce all this by going, let it rip now. And go through this process again. I guess my computer must be running a little hot. Check out core temp. Uh. Yeah, it's pretty hot. 66, 670 Celsius. It's up there. Good temperatures, about 40. Under a load, 50, 55. Uh, we got a pretty good load running right now. I'm recording screens, rendering videos, and all this happy schmappy. Okay, we're done. As you can see, we got our RGB channels, which we will need to delete in order to do separations. Separations will be grayed out when you go to print if these are still in your channel's palette. So you will delete all these RGB, red, green, and blue. But that's after the separation. Now, if you want this on a black shirt and need a white base, why are these popping up? And you choose what white base. Usually, a, the darkest white base is the best because uh, you want a lot of saturation on that ink. Yellow, blue, red, black. And aqua. What's aqua doing here? Oh, aqua really makes it good. Hmm. So you kind of pick and choose. I'm going to go ahead and merge that aqua with this blue. So select the channel you want to merge with. I'm um, merging aqua with blue 285. So hit merge aqua. Say if your image has got a lot of green in it, you might not want to do that because it's going to lose all the green. But I don't have any green, so I'm not worried about it in this image. Now it has merged aqua and reset everything. So I'm going to go back to my white base. Yellow, blue, red, black. Get rid of these. How slow my computer is running. Not good. No bueno. What's this thing doing? Alright. And there we are. I got it down to one, two, three, four five colors and I'm gonna want some more blue in this so I'm gonna select that blue channel come up to image mode adjustments image adjustments curves curves easy way to uh, darken up them colors so okay looks good to me one two three four five so we got it down to five colors index separation this kind of image is going to work better than uh, index separation just because I get less colors to print the index you're going to need at least six probably eight to get it really nice and clear but, you know and if you want to brighten colors or anything that image adjustments brightness contrast new auto tone doesn't seem to really do much but we're ready to print so file print now you can select all the colors you want if you want to print them all at once each each one independently or if you want to do one at a time so you can load your film in your printer file print control p any 
day. Okay, page setup. Um, pick your printer here, whatever you're using. Hopefully you have a RIP software. This won't print. You're going to need to find yourself a RIP printer. I'm going to do 13 by 19. This is my page size. Um, looks like I didn't set my image size, which is usually the first thing you should do, by the way. I never do. I always end up doing it last for some reason. If I'm doing a job, I'm paying more attention. 100 inches wide. Uh, average size for a shirt is 11 inches wide, and whatever the height works out to be, I want my resolution to be the best, and I'm not going to worry about this down here. It is what it is. There we go. Control plus. Zoom in on that. Looks good. Back to the print. Now we're inside the 1319. This is 11 inches wide. I got an inch on each side. If you need to move it around, uncheck that. You see it says here my width is 11 inches. I want labels because it's going to tell me what colors are printing. And I want some crop marks. And come up to color management here and as you can see separations is grayed out like I said earlier because we have the RGB channel still in here so let's select that hold shift and select the rest of them all four of these need to go into dumpster now we can print let's go ahead and select our colors again and I'm going to pick the darkest white base. Now, if you need to saturate that white base some, um, you can come back to do the curves here again and get that nice and dark. Whatever you want to do with it. Okay. Check what we're going to print. I don't want to highlight white. Usually that's garbage and I don't want shirt background. One, two, three, four, five. What I like to do is delete anything I'm not using. That way it doesn't show up and confuse me when I'm trying to print. I'm not printing a shirt background. I'm not printing this white base. So. Take it to the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five. Control P. We're all set up now. As you can see, separations is back. Output. Still got my goods. Now. This is where we break it into dots with the screen. Hit the screen bucket button. If you don't have that, you're not in CS4 or lower. CS5 does not have this. CS6 does not have this. Uncheck use printer's default screen. Now you can see these are the channels we have. Just these five. So they all need to be set the same. White base. Everything is going to be 55 for the frequency. 56 for the angle. And this shape is going to be elliptical. Okay. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. You gotta go through each color. Do them all. 55, 56, ellipse. Good. Blue, 55, 56, ellipse. Good. Soft red, 55, 56. Black, 55, 56. Okay. That's it. Hit print. And don't worry if this little image resolution is more than the screen. Print anyway proceed and put your film in your printer and print it I don't have film so I'm just going to name this body and it is done so this is what you get I don't know what's going on here so it's my yellow yours will all be dots mine's not I'm just showing you that it printed everything out all the separations labels tell you the colors that's it have fun and good luck see you when I'm further down south I gotta get packing you guys are driving me crazy see you later